I really hope I don't regret this. So as you can probably tell, my hair is quite long and very curly. It's naturally curly. I don't do anything to it. The last time I had a haircut was two years ago and I had it cut to about here. So that is a lot of hair in two years. I mean, of course I've had probably about an inch or two taken off probably twice. So that's about four inches on top of this. I love my hair. I love having long hair and I love that I can do stuff with it, but it's time for a change. Since it's summer, my hair it gets very, very frizzy and hard to manage and half the time I can't keep it down like it is right now. It's also probably hard to tell on the camera, but my hair is very damaged. There's so many split ends and damage from all the times I've dyed it. Not quite sure if you can tell, but there's a line around here where you can clearly see the last time I dyed it two years ago. I used to get so many highlights and lowlights, so my hair was never my natural color, and that just killed my hair. If you remember back in March of this year, I dyed the tips of my hair blue for Autism Awareness Month. Then they eventually turned into the color green. Then in May, I dyed around three-fourths of my hair purple, which eventually turned into pink, and then this pale pink I'm stuck with now. I love having colored tips in my hair. I I think it gives my hair character and I just love how it looks on me. But since my hair is so dead and it's not going to get much more longer than this because it's so heavy even if it is very thin, I need to cut it. My hair has gotten to the point that if I don't just chop it all off and start over that it will never really get better. So that's where this video comes into play. I am cutting my hair. I go back to school in two weeks and I don't feel like I can handle this much hair plus however much grows off of it in college. So I will be cutting my hair today in this video to mark the date and let's hope this turns out okay. However, before I can cut my hair, since I'm actually getting my mom to cut it, probably a bad idea, I will be straightening my hair so I can show you exactly how long it is and we're gonna get a comparison. So I really hope I don't regret this video, but I'll see you in a second. Okay, I know the camera angle changed, but now my hair is straightened to the most part. There are some kinks in it still. Ooh, that's a big kink. But it's good enough for my mom to cut. Uh, so yeah, I just want to show you how long my hair actually is before we cut it. So my hair actually comes way down here. It is so long and it's about to go. So I guess all that's left is to cut my hair. Let's do this. So, my hair has been cut, and I haven't seen it yet, and so it's behind my head. I have this hair here, though. This, this was just in my head. That is a lot of hair. That is so much hair. My mom kept cutting off more after that because she couldn't get it quite straight. I am so scared to look at myself because the whole time I just kept thinking, this is so short. Every time I kept thinking about how much I wanted to cut my hair, I kept thinking how, oh, it's going to be so great, I'm going to love it, it's going to be such a refreshing thing. And the second she made a cut, I regretted it. So, I'm really nervous that I'm going to hate it. I know this isn't finally how it's going to look, um, because my bangs, like here, I'll show you this part. Um, these are my natural bangs. Um, she didn't cut any of this. This is how it was before, and they're very long and very dead, um, so I'm still going to trim these up a bit and give myself more of a fringe, but I'll probably do that within the next couple days after I see how I handle my hair. It feels so short. It feels It's probably long compared to most people, but it feels so short to me. I believe there's still a bit of pink in it, 
but that's fine with me. Um, I might be dying the tips again very soon before I go to school. I'm not quite sure on that yet. Uh, I just went in a couple days with my hair like this to see how I like it and figure out how to style it. My hair is still straight. It wasn't completely straight when I straightened it earlier. Um, but we'll see how I like this and we'll see how my hair turns out tomorrow after I get a shower tonight and it goes all wavy. So, here we go. Oh my god. You have no idea how much of a relief this is. In my mind, the hair looked like it was about here. When she was cutting it, um, there was a moment when we pulled it in front of me and I couldn't see my reflection. Honestly, when looking down, it looked like it was about here. And I was so nervous because I didn't want it to be that short. But this length seems okay. It is so much shorter compared to what I had before. Just a comparison this way. Like, my hair was down to here before if not a little lower. This hair is gone. Wow. There are still bits of pink in my hair, as you can see. And I'm gonna leave it like that for now. And my hair is this funky in between crinkly grossness mess. But we'll see how my hair turns out in the next couple days and see if I like it. It's okay so far. It's still just very new because it's so much shorter than I'm used to. Yeah, we'll see how this turns out. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And that's it. So I'm gonna go. Bye!